We're going to explore the NFC wireless capabilities of the AT Key card from Authentrend. The product was received free for review. Hello everyone, this is Rick with Cybermedics, and today we're going to explore how to authenticate with the Authentrend AT Key card on an Android phone using the NFC capability. There's a link to a video above where we showed how to add fingerprints and use the Bluetooth capability on the Windows operating system. Before we do that, I thought I'd go over some things that are helpful with using hardware security keys on a day-to-day -day basis. First off, here is a cable interface adapter. If you have an iPhone, this is a lightning to USB-A port adapter, and you can use it with a USB-C or USB-A adapter. With that adapter and these other little adapters, you could use basically any USB-A or USB-C key. It does not have to be a lightning port adapter to use it with your iPhone. So you can see we have some YubiKey, Phyton, uh, Authentrin. All of these are FIDO certified and can be used in the FIDO2 capability for passwordless authentication. My go-to key has been this Authentrend biometric key. They've done a tremendous job in implementing it. It also comes with a silicone jacket that you can put on your keychain and carry it with you on your keys. Today we're going to dive right in on the Android phone and show you how to use the card for NFC authentication as a hardware security key. The first thing you'll do is go to settings on your Android phone, select manage your Google account. Once you're in manage your Google account, there'll be a security tab. Select the security tab, scroll down until you see security keys. Click on security keys. At that point, you'll probably be asked to re-authenticate to your account with your password. It's showing a list of security keys that are presently on the account. Sometimes, just to keep in mind, this may ask you to re-authenticate using a key that was previously on the account. So just be aware of that when you come into this section. But here it's asking us to just add the key. What we're going to do is select physical key. Down at the bottom next, it says use your security key with Google. So we'll say get started. And here we want to use an NFC key. So what I'm going to do is turn on the AT key card and then press the button again. It'll go into a rapid flashing blue light. At that point, you can put your finger on there and authenticate to the fingerprint. The NFC reader is on the back of the phone. It says now remove it. And you give it a name. AT key card, step verification account security. So it's all added. Close that window and now you can see we have the card on the account. The next time you go to log in on the account on a device that hasn't been previously authenticated, it will ask you for the security key. In closing, we'll just recap with the card. You turn it on, push the button once, push it again. It goes into authentication mode. Put your fingerprint on there and authenticate to the card. At that point, you just hold it to your device and it will authenticate using the AT key card through NFC. That's a wrap on how to use the AT key card through NFC for hardware security key authentication. Please share and like our content that supports our efforts in helping others with technology and have a great and wonderful automation day.